Okay, Richie Ornstein, we're going to do some trivia, and thanks to Bob Gallagher, king of nostalgia conventions, we're about to meet one of TV's enduring legends as the image of Sheena, queen of the jungle, this lady named Irish McCalla became part of the fabric of our lives. She's uh, to this day in demand at conventions and fan clubs and newsletters are keeping that name alive and bright and sparkling. Can I tell you that I'm a fan? Thank you, I love to hear it. <laughs> we go back a few weeks, you and I, right? I'd say so, quite a few. You were on our show years ago when uh, yeah, we, were much, we, we were much older years ago, right? Oh, yes, Irish, I think so. how have you been? I've been just great, thank you. You look great. Thank are you, you now new to the uh, a convention a circuit? Is it something? Yes, I, I had uh, not done the nostalgia shows until they talked me into it, and I wish I'd have said yes a long time ago because it's a ball. Mm -hmm. I get to see other actors I haven't seen in years. I can't believe I'm sitting here with you. So the, 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 the genesis, uh, even though you may have told it before, but not on our show, the, the beginning of Sheena, how it came into being and how you uh, got the starring role in that Queen of the Jungle series. Actually, do you remember Anita Ekberg? Sure. Well, I got the starring role because Anita got, a, got another contract because it was between Anita and myself, and she got it. Then she got this other contract, and they gave it to me. Mm -hmm. So was I had a lot to thank her was for. Was it a fun association? Did you enjoy? Uh, it was very hard work, extremely hard, because we worked in Mexico, and it was hotter there than it is here today. <laughs> did you enjoy the uh, scripts? Did you enjoy the production values, or did you ever feel We didn't have much in the way of production values. <laughs> As you see, those, that show was really done very, very cheaply. Mm -hmm. And none of the nice things you get to see on television. They always laugh when people say, the golden years of television. I say, no, those were the copper years. The copper years. Yeah, they pinched mm -hmm. all their pennies. It's like they say about the, the Stone Age, the Bronze Age. That could have been the Garb Age. That, right, <laughs> for sure, yeah. No. But did you ever want to, because uh, I know you're a very bright uh, young lady, did you ever want to change any of the scripts? Or, or? Oh, all the time. Really? All the time. In fact, at one point, they were rewriting scripts right on, right on the set. They'd sit over there rewriting the parts, you know. I want to tell the boys and girls, as you went along, I want to tell the boys and girls that uh, didn't see the series originally, there were how many, at least 26 maybe? There were 26. <laughs> episodes, mm -hmm. and this was one of the highest rated and best loved and remembered TV series of all time. And the leading lady. Well, before you did this, weren't you uh, a model out there? Yes, or? I was a model. I was a pinup model for a long time. A That's Varga? how they discovered me. Yes, mm-hmm. Varga girl? I was a Varga girl. And pinup model, I like those yeah. words. And pinup model, yes. And, uh, and now that's all nostal nostalgia, and they, have, they sell all the old magazines that I used to be in. As a cover girl? As a cover girl, mm -hmm. Give us any flash reaction. Let me hold this up. What, 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 what do you think about now when I show this picture of Irish McCalla as Sheena, Queen of the Jungle? And any reaction? The first reaction is funny enough is that I miss the chimp there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Glamour shot. Yeah, well, that's, you know, always very, the queen, they've always said, oh, you're a queen, you're strong, you're tough, but you're a queen. Right, that's the one I think that. of there. And there was because we were, that was, that was a stuffed bird, I have to admit. Mm. But uh, we, we were around a lot of beautiful animals. Mm. And there I am being tougher than nails. When, you, when you're signing pictures at conventions, mm -hmm. do, do you write Sheena or Irish McCalla? No, I write Irish McCalla. I don't have a right to, to the Sheena name. Oh, but some people ask you sometimes to write Sheena? Yeah. And sometimes I'll, I'll just write in parentheses as Sheena. Mm -hmm. if, you were to name, if you were to name your, your favorite uh, Sheena episode and, and the worst, the, the best and the worst Sheena episode, is that, a, is that a horrible question, Irish? Well, yeah, because I can't remember. It was a long time ago, and I can't remember all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the favorite one was probably when we finished <laughs> because we, we were seven and a half months in Mexico shooting, and it was very rough. We had some rough times. I, I did my own stunts for the first 13, mm -hmm. and then um, I, I got smashed up on a tree. Ouch. And so then I, we, they, got a they got a stunt man because they didn't have any women tall enough down in Mexico. You are tall. Uh, yeah, five, nine and a half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You really got hurt that much. Oh, yeah, I still <laughs> hurt from it sometimes. Boy, oh, boy. Yeah, when I heard Tanya Roberts when they did the remake of Sheen, and they were saying, oh, she's going to do her own stunts, and I said, somebody tell her it's foolish, you can get hurt. Did she? <laughs> no, she didn't. She was lucky. You made movies after the Sheena series. I saw one on TV about bold women or something. Yeah, or? Five Bold Women. Right. Yeah, I haven't been able to find that one. If anybody knows where the copy of Five Bold Women is, I'd love to see they it. They show it on cable sometimes, 5 o'clock in the morning, on obscure stations from uh, far away places. I suppose places. so, yeah. That's well, I great. guess Arizona, where I live now, is a little too obscure to find it. You might like to know what this young lady is doing in Arizona. Irish McCalla uh, is now doing You Tell the Whole World, Irish. Well, I'm an artist now. I have been for quite and some time. And a very time. celebrated and award-winning young artist. 
Yes, and, and I have limited edition prints and, and have my own company. Mm -hmm. Cool. And, and McCall Enterprises, Fabulous. easy enough. Right. Yeah. That's the real name, Irish? Irish McCall, Irish Elizabeth McCall. Mm -hmm. Born where? In Nebraska. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. I got to reunite you one day on this program with Maureen O'Sullivan, right? She played uh, yes. mm -hmm. Jane with Tarzan and, and mm -hmm. with Faye Ray. Yeah, well, made... and, they're, and you know, they're, I've already met, do you remember Aquanetta? Sure. I met her, she lives in Arizona. We could call, it's we, fantastic. We could call that special, It's a Jungle Out There. How about that, It's a Jungle <laughs> Out There. Sounds good, there are a lot of us still around. We, all, we managed to get, get there and get out. All the Jungle Queens. Mm -hmm. So proud of you, Irish. Is this, Thank you. Is this what you... That's, uh, that's one of the things we're producing in the company. And we sell them at the nostalgia shows or through the mail. It's a T-shirt. I bet they as go you can like. See. I and bet they sell like T-shirts. They do sell just like T-shirts. You're very quick there. Fabulous. That is yeah. great. In fact, we're coming out with a second one now. Wow. Bob Gallagher, who brought uh, Miss McCall into uh, the East for the convention, which is now uh, historic and uh, sold out. I was told, Bob. What do you want to ask or say of the lady? Well, Joe, she's a wonderful lady, and I met her first. I guess 30 some odd years ago, and I'm glad that she came to the show, and she made it a great success. The people loved her, and hopefully we'll be able to get her back again. Mr. Ornstein, nothing trivial about the subject, even though you're the trivia king. What do you want to ask or say uh, relating to Sheena, Queen of the Jungle? I always loved Sheena, the Queen of the Jungle, and Irish. Irish, uh, what did you do prior to Sheena? Any other movies or any yeah, other Yeah, how television? you first happened to come to Hollywood, the whole, the whole, the whole Irish McCullough legend. Well, I, I came to... So I came to California from Nebraska because I couldn't stand the snow. And I said, I want to go where it's warm. And then I was out there and I was discovered by the photographers and became a pinup model. And then Vargas discovered me and I became a Varga girl. Right. And from that, uh, when they were trying out the Sheena thing, at that time I had long blonde hair that I could put in my belt, it was so long. And so I, I physically look like the Sheena comic book more than anybody else. And as I say, when I did that, then I had done a couple of things before that, but not very much. Mostly right. just, uh, I was a pinup queen, mostly. And to me, always will be. Thank you. Irish McCullough. So, so the, the Sheena before you again and the Sheena after you one more time. Their names were one more time now before you was... Uh, no, there was, oh, there was the only first? one. No, I was, only, I was oh, the only one ever on TV. Oh, you were the first Sheena? Yes. And uh -huh. then, then came Tanya. And then Tanya Roberts did a remake of it, uh, I think about two years ago. Right. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they're being seen on TV right now. I once read there were some missing no. episodes or whatever the reason. Well, there, yeah, there are some missing ones. And, and it's not on TV here, but it has been in other countries. Right. And I was very, very happy to hear that it was number one in Poland about four years ago. Oh, great. And it's, it's a big VCR seller. I know that people yeah, have it in mm -hmm. their homes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and sometimes, as I say, they, they just have a few of those that, under the title of Kitty Comics. Do you get residuals? No, <laughs> not from that. I get residuals from other TV shows that I did. But not that. Not that one, no. Iris, you have nothing to sell, really, or promote, and the convention is over, but uh, if anybody wants to be in touch, is there, is there an address or a phone number, or don't you want to bother with that? It's up to you. Well, no, it's kind of long. <laughs> involved, huh? If anybody yeah. wants to know more about Irish... Well, I'll just look in the nostalgia magazines or come to the nostalgia shows, and I'll be there. Right, and we're going to... Uh, be showing these as the days and weeks go by, and our good friend Morris Katz uh, wants to chat with you. And uh, oh, good, yeah, I really enjoyed his work. Iris says she wants to do a bit of trivia with Richie Ornstein, a little bit of stump the panel. Bob, we're going to try and stump each other. Who played the role of Aaron, Moses' brother, in the 1956 film The Ten Commandments? Bob Gallagher did. No, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one. Who? John Carradine. John Carradine. Julius Garfinkel was the real name of? Oh, that's easy. That was uh, John Garfield. That's oh, correct. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. This is a tough one. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. It was a three million selling hit record for Merv Griffin in 1948 with Freddie Martin's right. band. How much did he make for this hit? It's amazing. He made him a lot of money for everything, but, but for that he probably made practically nothing. How much? You're right. $25. $50. $50. We were close. What was Elvis Presley's first gold record? He had a lot what, of them. Hound dog? No, but that's yeah. a good guess. Are you lonesome tonight? No. no. Heartbreak Hotel. Heartbreak, Heartbreak Hotel. Heartbreak Hotel. In what 1953 movie does Marilyn Monroe wow the audiences with her rendition of Heat Wave, starring in this film, was Ethel Merman, Donald O'Connor, Dan Daly, Mitzi there, Gaynor? There's no business like show business. Uh, Joe is right. She, she ain't Irish. Yeah. I know you've got a frantic schedule. You've got maybe four million fans out there. Whatever you want to say to your people out there, they would just love to hear anything you want to say. Well, I just want to thank everybody who's remembered me and who's making this time of my life so much more fun. 
because of the nostalgia shows. It's great because I go and I see, I ran into uh, uh, Claude Aikens and, and uh, you remember Boy from sure, Tarzan? Sure. I, had, I used to go surfing with him when we were both young. That wasn't Johnny Sheffield. <laughs> Johnny Sheffield. Right. Mm -hmm. I drink yeah. his milk all the time. No, <laughs> no. But I want to. But I want to tell you that you sold as many TV sets as Milton Berle. People used to buy TV sets to watch. Milton Sheena. Berle. When I came back from the jungle, and I really was in a jungle in Mexico, right. Milton Berle's show with Elvis Presley was the first show that I did on TV after I came back. Boy. As I might say at a time like this, as I will say, let's organize a prime time special, okay? Why not? Right, Bob? Right, Richie? Yeah, the life sure. and times of Irish McCullough. Big surprise following these words, my friends. We shall return with the faith healer of faith healers. Get ready.